Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel admin panel development beginner tutorial and this is our part number 38. Inside this video session guys, we will implement about logout function and also we will fix about the redirect login page issue. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Laravel admin panel development tutorial. So far guys we have implemented about the login functionality of admin panel where actually we will login about some credentials like you, you email and the password inside our login form. So if we back to administrator panel now this is our PHP my admin inside TBL admins as you have remembered that one of the admin we have created and the email is something online at gmail.com and password is online 123. So if we back to admin login form and if I put it about online at gmail.com and password is something online 123 press sign in button and as we can see that we are successfully redirected on the dashboard page so these sections basically we have covered in our previous video session so how about the logout functionality and also if I type the URL inside this web URL section something called login and also we can see that this is our login form which actually not valid in case of user logged in means if the admin is logged in it means that he is able to access only the dashboard and also we are going to implement about the sign out function so basically these two functions guys we are going to find out and we are going to fix inside this video so back to editor here as we can see that this is web.php file this is the master file for our routes configuration scroll down here we have made two routes called login and check login now we are going to make a third route for the logout function and remember this route basically registered outside of this middleware scope okay so let's route this would be get method and if I suppose let's say logout and it will use the controller something called admin controller and inside admin controller we are going to make a method called logout it will be named parameter and the name parameter something let's say admin logout so now next we are going to make this method inside our admin controller so copy this logout go to controller section admin controller inside this admin controller if I scroll down let's say that public function and this is our logout method inside this logout method we are going to flush our all the sessions basically we have set inside this login form basically what does it means it means that when actually we have logged in then while login process we have got email and the password so by taking email and the password we have authenticated using guard this is our custom guard that we have made and also we have set our custom sessions so we are going to flush out all the values basically stored inside the session when the user is logged in by flushing all the sessions variables it will be automatically log out from the admin panel so basically for that firstly we have to import this use session library package here go here inside this logout method we have to write only three simple lines to make this logout function working so what will the first line first one is that we have to actually flush out all the values that we have stored inside this session this is our user defined values so for that let's say that session and session has a static method called flush basically by using that we are going to remove all the values from this session next after removing all these values from session we have to make logout of this guard so scroll here and to log out for the guard actually we have to import called auth package by using this we are going to log out this so let's say that auth auth has a guard and inside this guard remember we have made the admin and this is our custom admin guard that we have made in our previous video session so finally on clicking on the logout button we have to log out this guard also so let's say that logout and finally we have to redirect after logout into the login page we have done the two lines so in the next line let's return redirect and inside this redirect we have to redirect on the login page so let's say that login all we have done now if I open about the view file to integrate about the logout function so back here inside our resources folder 
inside our resources folder inside this views file and I think that we have stored inside this header.blade.php inside this file we have the logout button so if I let's say suppose search for sign out and this is our button we have to make it as a functional so inside hash symbol we have to put our route name so route name is something route and inside this route what basically name parameter we have defined called admin logout to so copy that and I'm going to pasting it here if I go to our administrator panel reload this page and once we hit online web tutor click on the sign out button for the inspecting to get the URL actually what we have and this is our logout URL so what will happen if I press here after pressing it here it will firstly flush all the values from the session and also it will log out the card that we have set by login process so if I click on the sign out button successfully it has logged out from the system and if suppose we type any of the URL of admin panel then it will not redact anymore so let's add class and this is on the login page and also if I let's type list sections also it goes on the login page it it means that we have successfully logged out from our admin panel let's say that once more time we are going to log in inside this admin panel by our credentials online one two three press enter okay I think that we have some error let's type one more time our credentials and this is email address and online one two three press enter and we have successfully logged in so if I type login here this is our issue we need to fix that so back to editor close this header.blade.php inside this admin controller basically while login actually we are redirecting on the admin dashboard so back to top inside this controller section and also go to web.php file basically by taking this we are redirecting actually on the admin home controller so if I open admin home controller inside this this is our dashboard page and also for the login page it means that this is our login page for the login if I let's find about the login and it is using called admin controller inside this we have called admin login form so back to admin controller let me search for this function and inside this function basically we have to firstly check that we have any session value or not it means that while login if you have remembered we have set a variable something called session is active it means that firstly we have to check that if session is active it means that we are logged in in that case we don't want to see any more about this login page so let's say that if I scroll down if I just copy this key go up and if I let's say is if session and the session key is something is active if equal to equal to once it means that it is active in that condition or else condition so by getting else condition we have to show actually the login form and also while getting this is active we need to return redirect on the dashboard page this is what we have so go to administrator panel reload this page and as we can see that while actually pressing enter we are successfully redirected on the dashboard page if I again type something let's say login go here and if I press sign out button if I type dashboard we are redirected on the login page so successfully guys we have implemented about the concept of login logout and the middleware concept again if I let's this is the email and the password we have something one two three press enter we have successfully logged in we have protected our routes as well add section okay uh, also if I press faculty this is also working if I press sign out button it is sign out from our admin dashboard if I press again about the URLs called add section it is not rewriting on the dashboard it is on the login page so it is working fine now again if I type the credentials and uh, let's say online one two three again if I type the login URL here we are back on the dashboard so I think guys that we have fixed about the logout and the login page issue
So if you have any doubt inside this video session guys then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.